Oh, we're going to go through a somewhat hard math problem on the calculator section that asks you to employ the concept of a surface area of a cube. Here's what I want you to do. Take out a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, and solve the problem. Write down your answer and then unpause the video and let's do this together. All right, I'm going to minimize myself. What did you guys think? Did you think it was A over 4? It was it A? Was it 4A or 6A? Let's find out together. So we're given a surface area of a cube. Um, for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to say that a the formula for a surface area is 6x squared. Because if I'm just going to keep using A, it's going to be very confusing. So 6x squared is the surface area. 6x squared is equal to, in the problem, they say that it's 6A over 4. All of it is squared. How can I find my X? Because we need a perimeter of one face of a cube. And a perimeter is one face times 4. So I need to find my x. Divide both sides by x. Oh, divide both sides by 6. I'm going to get x squared is equal to a over 4. All of it is squared. All right. Now, how do I get, get to the x? I square root both sides. x is equal to a over 4. x is one of the sides. What's the perimeter? The perimeter is x times 4, and then we do 4x, 4 cancels out. The perimeter is going to be A. Answer choice B. There's one more problem I want to discuss. This one comes to us from a fabulous U world that I love. Um, I also want you to pause the video, give this problem a stab, write down your answer, and then unpause. So here they're telling us that the volume of a cube is 8a cubed. Can you tell me what the side length is? The side length is 2a, because in order to go from a volume of a cube to the side, all I need to do is I need to take a third radical of 8a cubed, and I'm going to get 2a. So 2a is one of my sides. So what's the surface area in terms of a? No problem. I know that the surface area is 6x squared. Now, if x is one of my sides, I'm just going to say it's going to be 6 times 2a. All of it is squared. Don't forget that there's a distributive property of your um, exponents. So now we have 6 times 4 times a squared. Your answer is C. I hope to see you in the next video, and we will be talking today about weighted averages. Those are very important. Those may show up on the SAT. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.